going to demonstrate removing a defective power supply. Step one will be to cut the zip tie at the mount so the wires are free. And then we're going to take a small putty knife. And what we're going to do is we're going to work in a little bit at a time. We're not going to try to do it in one pass. We're going to try to take a little bit of the adhesive up at a time. This is what the adhesive looks like on a roll. It's uh, one inch wide. It's 3M. Uh, extreme it sticks really well and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push through a little bit at a time it may take multiple passes and if it doesn't lift up what you can do is you can rotate it side to side to remove it don't try to lift straight up rotating it side to side will give you better leverage And you can see that that was the tape that was on the body. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to install a new one. Um, what we do is we put the tape on there and then you're gonna peel back the sticky and we're gonna apply, put it inside here. Now, I don't wanna push down just yet, I wanna, make sure I place it in the right position. So when you're putting it in, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's in about two and a half inches. And then off of the side wall, you're gonna be about an inch and a half. And once you have it in position, then you can push firmly down on the power supply. And then you're going to run your cables up to the top. And then you'll be able to attach a zip tie at the top and then clip it to length.